In the previous video, we saw how to calculate the value of an annuity in two different ways. And I want to work a little more now with that second calculation. Okay, so the uh, entire calculation can be summarized in this formula here. We have the payment, monthly payment, right there, that's the 100. And then the compound amount for each of the deposits that's made. Okay, so this represents the compound amount for the first month's deposit. That's for the second month's, the third month's, the fourth month's, the fifth month, and for the sixth month, which earns no interest. Okay, and so this gives us uh, immediately a way to generalize to an annuity of n periods at a rate of i per period. And the formula is v is equal to the payment times 1 plus i to the n minus 1 plus 1 plus i to the n minus 2 plus and so on down to 1 plus i to the second power plus 1 plus i to the first power plus 1. Okay, and in order to make this formula useful, we need to be able to sum this formula. Okay, so uh, I'd like to take a little digression and do a little example from algebra. We'd like to show that x to the fifth plus x to the fourth plus x to the third plus x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to x to the 6th minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Okay, and there's a hint here given in the notes. Multiply out these two quantities. So let's do that. x to the 5th plus x to the 4th plus x to the third plus x squared plus x plus 1 multiply by x minus 1. Now you remember how this goes, right? We multiply first by x and we get x to the sixth plus x to the fifth plus x to the fourth plus x to the third plus x squared plus x. Okay, that's x times 1 plus x times x plus x times x squared and so on. Now we need to multiply by negative 1. We multiply this expression here by negative 1. We get negative x to the fifth minus x to the fourth minus x to the third minus x squared minus x minus 1. And when we add these up, we see that all these terms in here cancel out. And so the answer that we get in the end is x to the sixth minus 1. Okay, so if the product of these two expressions is x to the sixth minus 1, therefore x to the sixth minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is equal to x to the fifth plus x to the fourth plus x to the third plus x squared plus x plus one, which is what we wanted to show. Okay, and in fact, in general, and this is what we need for our general formula, we have x to the n minus 1 plus x to the n minus 2 plus and so on plus x to the third plus x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to x to the n minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Okay, so we showed it in the case where n is equal to 6, but the proof is exactly the same for any other value of n. 
So we'll take this formula now as proved. And uh, this allows us to reduce the annuity formula to a nice compact form. Okay, so uh, in our formula, we have x is 1 plus i, and we have 1 plus i to the n minus 1, plus 1 plus i to the n minus 2, and so on. Remind you about that from up here. There it is. Okay, so if we just let x equal 1 plus i, then that formula reduces to 1 plus i to the n minus 1 divided by 1 plus i minus 1. Now, of course, here the 1's will cancel, and so the final formula is uh, 1 plus i raised to the n minus 1 divided by i, multiply that by the payment.